This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. No way Trump mocks Obama for saying he could have beaten him if he were allowed to run again. By David Mardosko. Donald Trump blasted Barack Obama on Monday for claiming he could have won a third term in the White House if he had been the Democratic nominee instead of Hillary Clinton. President Obama said that he thinks he would have won against me, the president-elect tweeted. He should say that but I say no way, jobs leaving, ISIS, Akha, etc. Disappearing jobs, the shortcomings of the Obamacare medical insurance overhaul law and the rise of the ISIS terror army were major campaign themes Trump leveraged to draw lines of distinction between himself and the Democrats. Moments after the first tweet, Trump delivered a broadside to the United Nations following an anti-Israel vote that Obama chose not to veto. The United Nations has such great potential but right now it is just a club for people to get together, talk and have a good time. So sad. He wrote. CNN on Monday published an interview that former Obama senior adviser David Axelrod conducted with his old boss, who claimed the vision of a united America he stressed in his famous 2004 Democratic National Convention keynote speech is still powerful enough that it might have carried the day. You know, I am confident in this vision because I'm confident that if I, if I had run again and articulated it, I think I could have mobilized a majority of the American people to rally behind it. I know that in conversations that I've had with people around the country, even some people who disagreed with me, they would say, the vision, the direction that you point towards is the right one, he said. Obama claimed that Republicans including former Fox News Channel CEO Roger Isles and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell mobilized a backlash to this vision in order to beat Democrats up and down the ballot. Part of Trump's standard stump speech promised Americans that he would unite them as one people, under one God, saluting one American flag. Obama claimed that high ground for himself saying the GOP proved it can just just throw sand in the gears and produce national disunity. He accused Republicans of believing that if we just say no, then that will puncture the balloon, that all this talk about hope and change in no red state and blue state is, is proven to be a mirage, a fantasy. The president framed national unity in terms of one America that is tolerant and diverse and open, and full of energy and dynamism claiming his time in office has produced that attitude in all sorts of ways. It manifests itself in communities all across the country. We see it in this younger generation that is smarter, more tolerant, more innovative, more creative, more entrepreneurial, would not even think about, you know, discriminating somebody against, for example, because of their sexual orientation, he said. Trump was castigated by the political left for prejudices of all kinds but insisted on protecting the LGBT community in dozens of speeches before chairing Republicans, and famously defended transgender icon Caitlyn Jenner's right to use whichever bathroom she wished in his Trump Tower skyscraper. Obama also said in the CNN interview published Monday that he might not stay on the sidelines and let his successor have the spotlight all to himself if Trump's presidency raises foundational issues about our democracy. He seemed to be firing a warning shot that while he has no immediate plans to be vocal as a former president, that might change if he thinks the Trump administration threatens his own values. I have to be quiet for a while. And I don't mean politically, I mean internally, he said. At a certain point, you make room for new voices and fresh legs, Obama explained talking mostly about the need to let up-and-coming Democrats find their own public voices. But that doesn't mean that if a year from now, or a year and a half from now, or two years from now, there is an issue of such moment, such import, that isn't just a debate about a particular tax bill or, you know, a particular policy, but goes to some foundational issues about our democracy, that I might not weigh in, the lame duck president explained. You know. I'm still a citizen and that carries with it duties and obligations. It's traditional for former presidents to hold their tongues and avoid criticizing the men who take over the Oval Office after they pass the baton. George W. Bush has repeatedly declined to comment on Obama's choices, many of which unraveled his policies. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. 
Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.